You're going to worship the Lord. You're going to worship the Lord. Uh, Hello? Y'all, y'all men are just terrible. Going in churches and, 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 just, and, and, and exposing their services and so forth on the TV just, just to make yourself look good. No, ma'am, it's, it's not. It's, it's not to and make it's not to make us look good. Teach that you do that. When Jesus taught, he didn't go in the synagogues and places and make fun and come back and 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 take pictures and all that kind of thing. Y'all supposed to, if you're teaching, teach with love, ma'am. Ma'am, have you even read be, Have you even read your Bible about Jesus? Women, that is terrible. Have you even read your Bible about Jesus? Jesus, Jesus do that. You're not supposed to do it. How do you know? How do you know Jesus didn't do it? You know what? I read Jesus going into the temple. Do you, you remember? You all are just mean as snakes. Ma'am. You are mean as snakes. Snakes. You ain't nothing but old Satan itself. Ma'am. Uh, condemning people and fussing and carrying on. Jesus didn't teach like that. He taught calmly and with love. Ma'am. That's how you reach Ma people. Ma'am. You don't reach people by being so mean and, mm. and and not understanding okay and going in the churches and coming out and showing it all on tv and so forth that's not teaching okay that's being mean and ugly and conniving you're mm. just going for one purpose that's to expose people worship and 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 to make yourselves look good like y'all are the Jesus didn't do I, that. I'm letting you talk, ma'am, because you're making my you're making my point exactly. We're exposing right. we're exposing people. I'm making my point to you to, to get off the TV with that foolishness, that foolishness. All right, now are we, are we gonna have a, are, don't like <coughs> okay? Can we? Ma'am, ma'am, are we are we going to have a two sided conversation here? Are you gonna let me talk now? I, you've talked for two and a half minutes. Well, That's what you need. So, that ain't oh, long enough. Okay, that all right. All right, thanks for your call. You know, friends, I let her talk for two and a half minutes, and, and she basically said, you know, what she said. We're exposing people. And then, but you know, she said something very interesting there. Jesus didn't do this. Jesus didn't go into the synagogue. He taught with love. Well, in John chapter 2, the Bible says, John chapter 2, verse 13, And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And he found in the temple, now this is the place of worship, found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the change of money sitting. And when he had made a, when he had made a uh, uh, small, when he made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the, the changer's money and uh, and overthrown the tables, right? And overthrew the tables, and they said unto and then said and said unto them, uh, "Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise." Now I don't know about you, ma'am, but see, I've read my Bible, and really I haven't done. Anything near as harsh as Jesus did, really. Jesus made a cord and he drove people out. He, he whipped them. He went into the temple, the place of worship. And you're criticizing me and my brethren because we go into these places with a camera. And you rightly said it, though. You rightly said, exposing people. That's exactly right. We're trying to expose what they're doing so that we can expose them to the truth. That's where I started this whole lesson. Us. I want to show you what you're doing so that you can realize that what you're doing is not in accordance with the Bible. And the first, the first person that calls up is this lady for two and a half minutes, berates me, tells me how bad I am, how evil I am for talking about these people She's doing the same thing to me. It's funny how that never that never goes the other way, right? 
It's always we're the bad person. We're judgmental. We're harsh. But people call up, call up and call us names and so forth. And, you know, y'all just the saints. No, friends. See, you're right. You're right. We're not doing like Jesus did. We're not overturning tables and whipping people. But what we are doing is we're going in, trying to get them to see that if we could sit down and ask a question, we might have some unity that Jesus desired. John 17, 20, 21. You on the air? Yes. You all are con confused folks, too. You are con confused and, and nuts, and fruit is nuts. Okay, I just said that. I said that about these other people. How are we confused, ma'am? I can I can show you, I can show you why I worship the way I do, from the New Testament. Can you show me what what you worship in the Bible? Can you show me how you worship from the Bible? Y'all are pitiful. Can you give me a scripture for that? Y'all are really pitiful. Can you give me a scripture? Y'all need to sit down and think about all of this stuff that you say. Can you give me a scripture? And stop judging other folks. Can you give me a scripture? I'd like to hear a word from the Lord. No, I'm not going to give any scripture. That's what I thought. Because That's what I thought. All are giving, you all are saying things from the Bible, reading from the Bible, and in y'all's interpretation. Well, why don't you read something from the Bible? But all of us have interpretations, and I'm not going to be one to quote from the Bible and, and, and confusing people and not knowing what Jesus is saying. Well, I, I, think, I think it's clear. I think it's clear who knows what Jesus is saying. And, and go and sit up on the other folks and try to learn. You need to try to learn <clears throat> from the witnesses. From the Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Is that your, your are you a, a Jehovah's Witness? I didn't say that I was a Jehovah's Witness. I said you all need to learn from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, you're... You're touting them as someone to listen to, so are, have they you are done nice that? People. They are nice people, and they teach with love and I don't deny that, but you know what, ma'am? I've asked the Jehovah's Witness to come have a Bible study with me twice, and they've never come back to my house. They come knocked on my door. I said, I'd like to have a Bible study with y'all. I give them my name, my address, my phone number. No one calls back. You know why? I don't think they want to study the Bible. So. Well, you need to go congregation. I've been over there, and I've asked them to come have Bible study with me. They won't come. You ask me to have Bible study, I'll come to your house. You all are so condemning. You all are so condemning. Are you condemning me? Ma'am, are you condemning me? Are you condemning me? You're condemning me. Are you condemning me, ma'am? Yes, you all are pitiful. Okay, so I'm glad to know that you're a hypocrite. You, 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 you're putting me down for condemning people, and then you're doing the very same thing. That's called hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Jesus would call it hypocrisy, yeah. ma'am. All right, have a good night. <clears throat> I, you know, I love to get those, uh, those calls. You get one about once a week or so. And uh, I don't know. You know, when someone says, I'm not going to quote the Bible. You need to go to Jehovah's Witness and, and learn something. Well, apparently she's a Jehovah's Witness. She, she didn't say she was, but to me that's even more hypocritical if you say go to Jehovah's Witness, but I'm not one. Well, why would I, why would I go listen to someone that you are not a part of? If you're not a part of the Jehovah's Witness, then why would I want to be one? Why would I go listen to one? 